Welcome to the EP Sports Network Post Game Show, brought to you by Wind Supply of El Paso, HVAC, powered by Champion Heating and Cooling. Let's go back to the stadium and see what the guys thought about this game. And I'm sure everybody in this room knows the treasure that they have. And <clears throat> Coach Curlick, she needs to be the head coach here for the next 20 years or, or however long she wants to be here. Amazing coach, <clears throat> excuse me, and an even better person. And I hated coaching every minute of that game. And uh, sorry, guys. <clears throat> heck of a job, heck of a person, and uh, I'm just glad the game's over, honestly. I love my team. They fought hard. We just couldn't score tonight. Um, for whatever reason, we just did not shoot the ball very well. I, I, can't, I can't explain it. We, we usually make a lot of those shots that we missed today. Um, just could not score. I mean, gosh, dog, we were, we, I, don't, I don't even know if we made a three tonight. I don't feel like we did maybe in the first quarter. But uh, I don't want to take any credit away from, from Texas Tech. I mean, maybe they guarded us so well we couldn't make shots. I don't know. But we just weren't ourselves today, and our team knows that we played for 40 minutes, but we lost the game in the first six minutes. And um, we, just, we never could get over that hump. If we could start the game over again, maybe build a different outcome. Well, we had our best two players walk in the office and quit last year and join the Twitter portal, excuse me, the transport portal. And um, we had to go ahead and, and, and go out and find two, two more players. And we found two better ones in Nia Boyd and, and uh, Jazzy on Jackson. And thank God for them to go with great players like Avery Krause, Selena Arika, and Adele Tack, Aaron Wilson. Soleil, I mean, and Sabina, they've just, they just been clutch all year. We, <clears throat> we lost, you know, we got eight kids out there. We lost four to injury and, and three went on to better pastures and they just never flinched. We just kept winning games. Um, it was very hard, very, very difficult to prepare for games with only eight players, but they figured out a way to do it. And um, those, that's the behind the scenes stuff that you don't ever see, but that's the stuff, you know, 10 years from now that I'll look back and probably be the most proud of. Uh, Coach, uh, Ace from the UP Sports Network. <laughs> the history you have with Coach Baker and when you saw the, the schedule come out, can you tell us a little bit about the emotions? He speaks very highly of you. Yeah. And, and Yes, well, of all the things, right? I was like, this world is not that small. Like, what is happening? But, um, you know, I told him before the game, I told him after the game, like, um, I'm so proud of him and, and all that he's doing. And I know he's proud of me as well. And, you know, I remember us being back at West Texas A&M and, and both talking about our, our future and our dreams. And, um, you know, we're both living them right now. And he does such a great job. Um, Whenever I saw it come up, we actually were trying to figure out beforehand who it could possibly be, and and we mentioned you know the Texas State and the SMUs, and um, and I said I was like well, y'all we need to be ready for the UTEP, you know, because I was like they're just right here west of us. So um, I figured it was going to happen. I hated that it happened in the first round, but um, it's it's just brutal to play friends and, and especially people that you love. But um, I'm, I thought it was a great game, and um, you know I told him if we were going to have to play, at least it was in the, both the postseason, so both of our teams were doing well.